because it's ashy. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Marilyn and I'm bringing you all things beauty, fashion, very little lifestyle. So if you like that kind of stuff, go ahead and subscribe now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright, so today we have a pretty chill video. That's why I decided to do it right here on the bed. We're going to get into a Ulta haul. I picked up a few things from Ulta and I was like, y'all probably want to see it. So, and I want to show you. So, here we are. All right, so let's get into these goodies. I have my box right here. And let's start with, let's start with this because I opened it already. <laughs> I did a video on this hair, which I got from Amazon. It's from um, Icy Hair, um, but I did buy it through their Amazon store. And I did a video just um, defining the curls. And I used this um, from the Ulta haul. This is by Shea Moisture. It smells so good. It's called the Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate Plus Repair Whipped Curl Cream. This is it here. I brought it to um, put on the my sew-in to keep this kinky curly texture as well put on my natural hair. It smells so good and it helped to find the curls but kept it soft. Like it's just, I really, really, really like this. So this is a quick little review. This is the only thing that I actually used because I had to do that video and I wanted to really try it. So I tried it on camera. So I don't know which video you're going to see first, but look out for that one. So again, this is my Shea Moisture. So it's a nice soft texture. Let me just open it so you guys can see. Look at that. See, it's like a pudding, yogurty type of thing. And it, it just smells so, like the, the scent is just, I love it. I was sold on that, but I love the way it made the hair look made the way the hair feel and it did definitely find the curl. It does hydrate it because it is a creamy moisturizing um, texture. So yes, this is the first thing on my old haul. So I know I'm going to be using this until the wheels fall off because I love it so much, especially the smell. Alright, so what do we have now? I'll just randomly pull things out of the um, package. So next up we have this. I've been seeing this a lot and I want to try it because girl. The sun is a killer. Literally, the sun is a killer here in Florida. Ciao. Ciao. So this is called Black Girl Sunscreen, and it's a moisturizing sunscreen lotion for the face and body. I'm probably not going to use it on my face, um, but I am going to use it on my body, okay? And it's water resistant for up to 80 minutes, ultra sheer, no white residue, and it's fragrance free. And this is what it looks like. I would have to update you guys on how much I like it or not. But this is it here. For some reason, I thought it was going to be a bigger container, a bigger tube. But I'll let you guys know how it goes, though. So this is the Black Girl Sunscreen. If you've ever used this, let me know how you like it. It's pretty popular as far as YouTube. I've seen it a lot. So hopefully I like it a lot. All right. Black Girl Sunscreen. All right, next up, this is something that I've showed you guys maybe twice before and I re-upped on it. When I buy a skincare product more than once, I really like it because I like to just try new things, but I always go back to this. This is the ELF Holy Hydration Face Cream and this has broad spectrum SPF uh, 30 sunscreen in it and I really like this, really like it. My husband also use it, uses it, so I definitely have to re-up on that. Let me just go ahead and open it. This is the front of it. Let me just show you that. I'm just popping it open right here. But so this is the front. After I rip the top off like a maniac. But let me just go ahead and take it out. So this is what it looks like in the jar. You've seen this multiple times. I keep rebuying it because I really, really like it. Okay, so this is the Holy Hydration. It doesn't leave any sort of residue. It's very moisturizing and just makes my face look like I have a, like a nice healthy glow. So I really like this um, face cream that has the SPF. I don't even know if 30 is enough, but I don't really sit in the sun like that. Like I'm literally from the house to the car, to the car, to where, wherever my destination is. I'm not like hanging out like that. All right, so the next thing that we have this is by Good Molecules. I've been um, curious about trying them as well. 
So this is good molecules. This is the uh, neosinamide or niacinamide brightening toner, which I haven't used toner in a while, in a long time. For some reason, I can never stay consistent with toner, but I said, why not try this? It's my good molecule. It has great reviews. This is what it looks like in the, um, is this glass? I think it's a glass bottle, but this is what it looks like in the package. Wait, let me get the front. <laughs> So here we are. There we are. So this is what it looks like. So look at the top to see if it has like a, yeah, it does have that, the top that has, you know, a little dropper. So you can just like drop it on a cotton pad or in your hand and just, you know, put it on your face. But this is the brightening toner. So let's see what else we have in here. I got a lot of skincare stuff because I don't know. When it comes to, I haven't really been into that much makeup, but I've been into skincare. So here we are. <laughs> okay, y'all. So we're back to e.l.f. This is their Holy Hydration Daily Moisturizer. I've had this before, but the packaging was different. Um, this is, I guess, their newer packaging. It has uh, hyaluronic acid, jojoba seed oil, and vitamin E. And this is a daily moisturizer. There's no sunscreen in this. So yeah. I really like the package, it's so cute. Like I said, I've used this before, so it's very moisturizing. It's a very simple, lightweight. That's why I got it, I'm familiar with it, and I like the price, and I like the price. It works for my skin. I have oily skin, so it isn't overly hydrating. You know, It's not doing too much, and that's what I like. It's very simple, and it's cute. With the new packaging, it's real cute, girl. I like this e.l.f., let me hold it closer. There we are. All right, so let's jump back on the Good Molecules train. This is called the Pineapple Exfoliating Powder. And I thought this was interesting because I purchased before by, I think it's called, it's, the brand is called Dermalogica. And I have purchased the Microfoliant. It's a, like a powder exfoliator, which I love. But girl, the full size bottle is about 60 something dollars. And it's good, like it's really good because you can use it every day. It's a very um, gentle exfoliator and it does leave your skin looking nice, glowy. It works well. I don't like $60 though. I don't really like $60. If I can find something that's a little cheaper that does the job, I mean, I'm gonna do that. And I that's why I thought this was interesting. Um, the pineapple exfoliating powder, hopefully I think it's just as good. It just says here on the front, formulated with fruit enzymes, vitamin C, and rice powder to soften, brighten, and gently exfoliate. And that's pretty much what the um, the Dermalogical one did, except this isn't $60. I can't remember how much I paid for it exactly, but I know. I know it wasn't $60. I'll, everything will be linked below, but let's take it out of the packaging. I really like this packaging. I really like the way this looks. But this is it here. Let me get a little closer for y'all. So hold on. So this is it here. This is how the packaging looks. Just says good molecule. I think it's fun packaging. I really like this. I like this label. It gives me my gives me ideas for my own small business. So which we do have like body care, skincare, glosses, and stuff like that. I always leave the link below in case you want to check it out. And that's sugarschoolbeauty.com. Everything is always below in case you ever want to check it out. But this is, I'm going to let you guys know how much I like it. Okay, you can see it's powder. It's a glass bottle, which is really nice. The top, let's see how does this thing oh, Wait a minute. So how the powder, let me see. So this is the top. So let's see how easy it is to even get some of this powder out. Hold on. Peel up this film. All right, so it's a pretty large hole. It's a it's a big big enough hole to easily get the product out. All right, so that's cool. Cause I was curious. All right, so that's that. I'll let you guys know how it works out. Hopefully, it's just as good for a fraction of the price. Because come on, sixty dollars. Next up, we have another good molecule product. <laughs> I went crazy, huh? This is their daily brightening serum. It's formulated with beta arbutin, arbutin, 
arbutin and hyaluronic acid to gently brighten skin tone so this is a serum let's take her out all right so this is really cute it looks pretty thick so this is the daily brightening serum here is the bottle i really like this package again okay so it's a clear liquid it's pretty it looks pretty thick to me let me just i'm gonna just screw it out this is such high quality packaging i like that so let's just drop a little bit here oh yeah okay no it's not super thick it's just like any other serum so this is it you can see the gloss it leaves on my hands feels really good and it seeps into the skin really easily so yeah I like it I like it I'll let you guys know how it goes as far as brightening my skin tone or not okay or not we'll see but that's by good molecule all right so next up we have and this looks like it's a fail but this is by black opal it's a pressed powder the color is called coffee cutie it looks um too dark for me but it doesn't only look dark it looks it looks ashy like a dark almost like there's a gray undertone to it which who i mean who would want that let me just swatch it on my hands here so we can take a look but this is it in my on my hands this color is like i wouldn't even use this as a bronzer because the undertone just looks so ashy let me put it on my hand so you can see hmm so that's it on my hand okay so I already know this is going back because I brought this as a pressed powder to put all over my face. It's an oil absorbing pressed powder and it looks better on camera to me than it does in, per in person. It looks very ashy, like a gray, dead. Like it, I, I feel like I would look dead if I put that on. So that is the first thing that's going back. I can already tell, like it's a no, it's a no. I'm definitely gonna go ahead and send this back. This color is not doing what it was supposed to do. All right, so coffee is going back. I don't think I'm gonna exchange it for another color. I don't think I like this powder at all. So yeah, this is going back because it's ashy. All right, so we got another thing from Black Opal and I hope this is good. It's a brightening concealer. It's in the color Latte. So this is the concealer here. Yeah, so let's see how this works out. Let's see how it works before I say anything. Alright, I really like the packaging because it reminds me of just like a little lip gloss wand. So I think this is cute, simple, and cute. I know I said that, but what else can I say? So let me go ahead and open it. So I bought this as, like it says, a brightening concealer. Okay, I like this. I think I like this color. So this is the color. Let me just swatch it. Okay, so this is a nice color for me to highlight with. It's a bright highlight though. It's a light highlight. A little lighter than I, I wanted. But I want to spread blend this out with my fingers just to see. Just to see how it would work out. So let's just blend this out a little bit to see how it blends and what kind of what kind of coverage it is, which it looks like full coverage, right? It blends out really nice. The texture feels really good. And it's definitely lighter than I wanted, but this is to to highlight that. I would put this like under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my forehead, just to highlight my face. I wouldn't use this as like an all over color or anything. So I really like it actually. I like the texture of it. All right, so that's not a fail. I thought it was gonna be a fail. I was judging it, but it turns out it's okay. Does this smell sweet? It has like a sweet smell to it. I don't know. Maybe that's my skin. Girl, maybe that's me. <laughs> Alright, so let's just wipe that off. But that concealer was pretty good. Like, I really like it. Next time I do my makeup, I'm going to use that 
for sure. So what else do we have in here? I also got one of these. I have one now. It's the F No Bud Shadow Stick, and this is in rose quartz. I have a color called Copper Chic, but I can't find it. I use it to I highlight my nose with it. Sometimes I put it in my inner corner of my eye. Girl, but I can't find it, but I bought another color. So this is a, it's like a pearly pink color, like a highlighting shade. I never actually use it as actual eyeshadow like it's supposed to be, but I might use this one like that. Let's see how the shade looks. I love the packaging for this, y'all. Like, such a cute little compact pen. So this is how the tip looks. I'm just gonna swatch it. It's so soft. Okay, so this is, is really a nice pink. So you can see that here. I would use this to highlight small areas like my inner corner. Matter of fact, let me try to do that right here now. Like highlight right in here. That's what this would that's what I would use it for. I wouldn't put this on my eyelids because I think it'll be too greasy and creasy for my skin. So put a little bit here and I always put it sometimes on my um cupid go just to highlight it see look how cute that is I love it and it's because it's in this pen form it makes it just easier neater I just like it for that reason but yeah this one is called rose quartz I want to put some more on my inner corner of my eye like right there yep i like that that's cute right so that's rose quartz these are like i think five dollars i might as well get all the colors because i do like all the colors why not they have like a gold champagne the copper color which is great for my skin tone absolutely love it and it's only five dollars all right so let's get back into the haul so i picked up and i'm pretty late i've never tried this and it's been out for a while it's the pro filter um, mattifying primer and it's the like travel size of course I got this because it's absolutely cheaper duh okay and it has a great you know a good amount of it in there so why start off with the big bottle why so here it is it's a very cute packaging so this is it here okay let me just take the top off so it has a cute little pump and I am going to be using this to let you guys know because I do have oily skin. Oily skin. I have oily skin, and I I don't even be wearing primer at all. Like I really don't wear primer, so I was like, let me try this out because I barely wear primer. I just put like a little bit of setting powder on my face before I do my makeup, and that kind of helps, kind of helps offset the oil. So I was like, you know, let me just try me a little primer see what it's about see what the girls be talking about okay so I decided to get this from Fenty and of course I got the small one if you know me if you know me yeah let's save some money child all right y'all so next I picked up a cream blush by Ella girl do y'all still use um makeup from this brand it's been a while I, I'm I remember when everyone was so addicted to their concealer <laughs> so I just wanted to try the blush because it is a cream blush but I like the packaging for it in the way um, that the product is dispensed in this um, tube so I was interested I was interested let me show you the packaging let me just get it open y'all what color did I get the color that I have is blissful so it looks like a burnt orangey color which looks great on dark skin so this is what the tube looks like and when you screw the top off, it has, oh, I thought this had like a little powder puff thing on the end where you can just like put dots. I guess not. But this is it here. It's a squeezy tube. So let's just try to get some out. All right, so that's how it comes out. I'm going to spread some on my hand so we can check out the color. So this is it on my hands. So let's see. But the color, ooh, it spreads out pretty nicely. That's a nice color. That's going to look really good on me, baby. 
really good on me, baby. I like that. So this is color Blissful. This will look so good on deep, medium to deep skin tone. It can look good on anyone, to be honest with you, because you can sheer it out, but brown skin normally looks really good with orange and like red blushes that just looks so good as long as you apply it right because you can look like a clown real quick real quick okay all right so i grabbed another blush it's by a brand called essence i've never tried this brand it's the mosaic blush it stood out to me and it's called the berry connection and i also when i looked it up because i looked at reviews and stuff before I purchased a lot of stuff. And they say that. I think TikTok says this is a dupe for um, a pink blush by Dior. Let me just. So this is it here. So I don't have the blush that they say this is a dupe for. But I know I like how pink this color is. Hopefully it looks good on me. Let me just swirl it here. My hand. I don't know if this is going to look good on me. It may give ashy. This is going to get ashy on me. Wow. Look. So, no. This shit is going back. Okay. Because what I'm, what I'm going to do with this? As blush? No. No man. No one ain't gone. That blush is going back so damn fast. Girl, please. And it was, I don't care if it was cheap. Give me my points back, okay? I don't want it. All right, so the last thing I got is something that I always get. Actually, I don't always get this. I normally get the one by Wet n Wild, um, but this time I got the Elf Liquid Liner, and it's in black. Just hope it's as good as the Wet n Wild one. I could find a Wet n Wild one in black. I think it was sold out. I think they only had it in brown, and I already had that. Hold on. All right, so here is the e.l.f. black liner. Let's draw a line. Let's draw a line. So this is the applicator. It looks pretty thin. So let's do a little line. Ooh, it's nice and black. So, is this focusing? I don't know. But this is the line. It's very black. Very. So it shall do the job. I like the, the brush. Yeah, this is pretty black. And I needed a new one. I bought a pen liner, but I like to have the liquid line as well. So yeah. All right, y'all. So I let it dry down a bit because I wanted to make sure it wasn't too shiny. Because I really don't like that when it comes to liquid liner. I don't like for my wing liner to be shiny. I don't like that. But this one dries down pretty matte. See? So it's not shiny. It's a nice black matte line. So that is a win. That's a win. That was actually the last item in this haul. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you tried any of these products, leave a little review in the comments for us. Okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. Of course, before you leave, be sure to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video. And of course, you always have to come back. Right? Done. All right. Thank you so much for watching again. Bye. Oh,